Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. This is Kendris, and this video is gonna be about color. I'm gonna show you a few tricks that are gonna make coloring faster and a lot easier. So this is how. I, so this is how I start. Uh, and this liner is is pretty rough, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and I have like the flats and a different layer. And okay, the first thing uh, I do, uh, you copy, duplicate the layer, and then a copy. Now you're gonna, you can go here and change the, the tonal correction. You go to hue, saturation, luminosity, or you can just click Command U when it shows up. So this thing. Here you can change the brightness. So I'm gonna make this darker. You know, pretty much this this are changes all the colors. And let's say I'm trying to make all of this like it's supposed to be the. I'm trying to make all the colors as if they're in the shadow colors. So I change it a little bit. You can change the the hue. You know, I, what color you wanna make the the shadows or something like that, you know, saturation and brightness so let's say I have something like this, like a little bit a little bit different hue and things like that so I have the, these two colors now I have uh, the basic colors which, let's, uh, which are gonna be the light and then the shadows now you go to layer mask and click mask selection and that's pretty much uh, like the, the setup and now what you do is uh, for example you so what happens is you can actually erase and pretty much that creates the line so it looks like you're painting in the line but you're just erasing uh, this. Well, not erasing. You're hiding away this layer, like little by little. Uh, and you can always bring it back. Since you have uh, the layer mask, uh, you're not really erasing it. You're just hiding it. Hiding. It. And you know you can create this kind of things. And then you can, for example, I have here the transparent pixel, so it's, it's pretty much like the eraser. And then I can put a color and bring the shadows again. This is pretty good because now you don't have to worry about like, oh, what color should I make the, what color should I make the shadows and like the transitions or, or anything like that. Uh, for example, if you want to make like a soft transition, you just pick a soft eraser or uh, the airbrush you know something like that some soft and then put it like on on the transparent pixel so it erases and then you can always bring it back and yeah that's the main idea so now what well, something else I like to do to make it easier is I like to use the lasso tool so I use, for example, something like this. Oh, this is what that light is hitting, and have this shortcut here that I can erase, and then I can fill. So if I erase, you no, know, it shows the light uh, pretty quickly. And I'm going fast, but you know you can take your time, make it more, uh, make it better, more detail. And if you want to go back, you fill something like that, and you can see how fast you know this is all real time. Pretty simple. And then you can go here. Maybe this. 
I can make it a little more soft, you know, with a softer eraser, or something like that. And yeah, you can just go here, maybe select all of this stuff. And what's cool is like it doesn't matter, you can go outside because you're not really painting, you're just like erasing away. So you know, erase and you don't have to worry about being too precise. So that's pretty much the idea. And you can see how fast and easy it makes things. Um about this, um I have a video showing how you can customize this stuff. Um you use you go here. For example, clear, you add it, you know, you can add different things uh, to this like shortcut, to this uh, shortcut bar thing. Yeah, pretty quickly you have your colors, yeah, your lights and shadows. And definitely can take more time, but this is just a quick, uh, just quick, just to show you guys. Uh, and then let's say in a different layer you can add like highlights like this like some white highlights um, Pretty simple and something else I like to do uh, here I put uh, let's say this is how it looks on top of everything. I put this layer, which is a color co correction layer, so you go here correction layer and color balance and you can just then change it, you know. So you can see here all the shadows, how you want the shadows to be. You know, maybe you want it to be more blue, the highlights, you want to maybe more yellow, or whatever, more red. Uh, you know, you can just add that on top, and you can always turn it on and off and have like a very different effect. So, it's pretty, it's pretty quick and you know, you're gonna save a lot of time. All you have to do, I'm just gonna do it quick again. Go here, duplicate layer. You go here, or you hit Command U. But yeah, then increase the brightness, change the hue a little bit. So you have that, and then now you create a layer mask. And then all you do is like erase. Yeah, pretty simple. And yeah, you get some pretty cool results. So that's it. It's a pretty cool trick. It saves a lot of time and it makes things a lot easier. And you can pretty much do this in any drawing program. It may be a slightly different, slightly different with the way you do the the layer mask and so, or something like that but it's pretty much the same idea you can apply this to any other uh, program so that's it for the video so make sure to subscribe and you can follow me on social media like twitter instagram uh, tumblr or anything like that i have the links on the description so that's gonna be it for now take care guys bye